Hello everyone, I hope that you are having a great time. In this video I'm going to show you how you can back up the files that you have on your computer and also how you can back up Windows operating system. To do that we have to go at start and we search for settings and we'll click on this here settings it will pop up this view here and we select update and security from here we go to on the left we click backup and it will come up this view here with this possibilities to backup your files so we have two options here backup using file history and looking for an older backup, which is this option here. The first option is that it gives you the possibility that you back up your files in an external hard drive. I want to mention that by using this option here, you will not be able to create a backup for your operating system. You just can backup your files that are saved in your computer to an external drive. The second option here gives you the chance to backup the files that you have in your computer and also to backup your Windows 10 operating system. I'll show you guys both of the ways how you can do that. So let's go with the first option. I have to mention that you need to have an external drive to use the first option. So we'll click on this option here, add a drive and it will pop up here my external hard drive. I select it and then we'll backup my files. We click on this more option here and from here I can select if I want to backup my files every hour, daily, etc, etc. I would suggest that you select daily because uh, I think it will overload your computer if you select every hour or every three hours. So you can select daily and here you can select how long you want to keep your backups Actually, based on your hard drive size, you can select how long you want to keep these backup files. So I will keep it for now forever, but you can select every uh, possibility that you want. And here you can specify the folders that you want to backup here. So by default, it's every folder, but you can add a folder, you can remove a folder by clicking on the folder and you select remove, etc, etc. So this is one of the options how you can back up your files and then you click on this button here backup now and it will start the backup. So let's go back by clicking on this button here and I'm going to show you the second option which includes backing up your files that are saved on your computer and also backing up your Windows operating system that you can use to recover in case that something happens to your computer. So go to backup and restore here and we click on that. Then it will pop up this type here. So I come here and I click on setup backup. Start in Windows backup. Please wait while Windows backup starts. It will take a couple of seconds for this process. Then here, select where you want to save your backup. We recommend that you save your backup on an external hard drive, but I want to mention that if you are going to use an external hard drive, it should be formatted in NTFS file extension, okay? So keep this in mind. In my case, I'm just going to use my drive E here, and I select this one here, then next, we have two options. What do you want to backup? Let Windows choose and let me choose. I would suggest you to select let me choose because you know better what you want to backup than Windows itself. So I'm going to select this option here, let me choose because for example, I have a big folder in my desktop which is only with movies and I don't want to backup that. So I will go with the option let me choose. Next. Here I have the data files backup data files for newly created users and everything is going to be here. All the users are here and it includes the documents, everything that you have for this user. Here you can find the option include a system image. 
So I'm going to select on this option because I want to include the system image. And also if you have something to back up from local disk, you can come and select here and then you can choose which folder you want to back up from local disk. In my case, I don't have something that I want to back up from local disk. So I will not select anything from here. Just remember that you don't forget to choose this option here, uh, include a system image. Okay, so then I will press on next. Uh, something that you should not forget is to choose the time when you want the backup to happen. You can select this option here, change the schedule. And then you can decide, let's say, that you want this backup, let's say, daily, at which time, etc, etc. I don't like to do this daily because it will overload my computer. But if you have very important files that you want to save them every day, then you can select daily and then you choose which time, 7 p.m. or whatever. Then after we choose the time, we click on OK. Then we choose save settings and run backup and it will start the backup of all these files including the image of Windows operating system. And I have to mention that this image of Windows operating system, you can use it in case that your computer is having problem with your Windows operating system and you can use it as a recovery to restore your operating system. So that's all that I wanted to show. I just want to sum up what we did in this video. So we, I'm, I'll show to you two ways how you can backup your files. One of them was by choosing the option here, backup using file history. And the other one was by choosing go to backup and restore. And the difference between them is that in the second option, you can, uh, you can choose also to backup your operating system. So that's all that I wanted to show. Thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video. Wish you guys all the best.